Okay, folks, right, so I'm gonna try and do a little quick one today. Now, the last quick one I tried to do was over two and a half hours long, so I'm gonna try and cut it down a little bit. Okay, so let's see now. Let's get in, let's just get some colors onto the canvas, remove some of the white. Okay, oh, get some darkish colors along here. Now, a really warm, another lovely sunsetty day here. So a little bit of uh, both liquid and spirits there, mineral spirits. And it's going to be quite the warm one today. So I'll probably need to get a bit more cadmium red out, but for now, Let's just put this up. A little bit more. Let's just put in a, a bit of a, a, the base of a tree here. This is a small paint, so I'm not going to be going too nuts with the amount of paint that I'm, that I'm putting on here. And now we get ourselves a nice dark reflection there too. Put a little bit of something over here. And that's just, I'm just, I might as well, while I'm here, just going to edge the, uh, the water here. That's probably too dark of a, of a color to do this, but nah, that'll be dry by the time we, we go over it again. Okay, so just bringing this up to here. Everything will be lightened and and whatnot. So let me see. Bring this out to here. Give myself a, a bit of a tree coming up here. Just keep mindful of the the shape of the tree. Another one coming across here. And up in here. Alright. At least for now. Okay. Now is my horizon off? I think my horizon is, yes it is indeed off. But I will fix that forthwith. But I will um, concern myself now with the, the grassy part of it. And that of course being the technical term. The grassy part. I want this dark and I'll be coming across uh, across later on and putting in a, a myriad of different greens on it. Now I need to keep my, my mind in that that horizon is a little bit off. But it's early yet, it's, we're, we're still, we're just starting. There's no, no rush for anything at the minute. Nothing needs to be fixed at this stage. <clears throat> okay. So far, mm, so good. Let's bring in a bit of a darker. As we're moving forward, a bit more saturated and a bit darker. Now what I've done here is a nice dark foreground. There we go, there we go. <coughs> now I want to concentrate up in the sky here, so it's a different brush. Right. Some oranges to, to yellows. This is going to be a, a sunset, so I'm going to put a little bit more cadmium red here. This is always very hard to open. This kind of pure colors at least for the time being just oranges around and then some oranges around the base of the tree and then some yellows in the sky and then i'll dirty things up as the time moves moves on but i want a nice 
Strong orange. So some mineral spurts, some uh, white spurts that are a little bit less. And I'm just going to tone what I have down here. Just along here. have a wee a little step back now a lot of this is is going to be a lot of the sky is going to be um, a variant of the orange so and if we put a little bit of yellow in certain areas this is going to be a very vibrant sunset and what I the, the canvas that I'm using today is quite the um, it's very very fine it's extra fine I normally work on fine cotton canvas but this one is extra fine okay so I'm just going to take a little bit off, leave a bit of room for some white areas in here and then here and then here. Okay. I probably didn't look much of a difference to you, but you know, I did create a little bit of room there, a little bit of space just to create some white there and some in here. That's nice now. Okay. <clears throat> Just keeping in mind what I'm doing and where I am with this. It's so easy to get lost sometimes. And let me see. You get a nice red here. playing at the minute folks I'm not settling on anything yet I'm not making up my mind about this or that I'm just playing putting it down and seeing where it takes me okay now. so let's bring in some grayer grayer colors here to gray the area around it and then they'll help the uh, it'll be that contrast idea of helping the the uh just the sky pop you know a little bit of cerulean here just to help gray this out a bit there we go that's quite nice all right See how grey that is, comparatively. Maybe just a bit brighter, more than anything else. A little bit more liquid. Yeah, that's a bit better. Bring it up to here. And a little bit, add a little bit of green to it. And we'll do that by the cerulean. more white it's a bit too a bit more a bit too green just let that work itself in let's get this green now that now I've got a I think this is a nice tone let me get this over coming over the tree and I'm just being careful I don't want to be mixing the tree color just yet so I don't a little bit brighter to 
here. That's nice. Now over to the far side, a little bit greener again, a little bit more of what I had. So over here. I today I'm using a reference photo. And that reference photo I I as an amalgam or I, I will clarify that reference photos. And it's amalgamation of stuff that I got from a few places. Mostly, uh, what do you call that, mid-journey. I think it's a, I honestly think it's an incredible invention. Especially for artists to, to be able to use it. Be able to come up with real places, as it were. Okay, so let me see now. work this in a little bit. That's nice. That's better. You see him over here. Just working it in. Knocking it back and bringing it forward and knocking it back and so on and so on. Right, a little bit of blue. I want um, I want a bit of a vignette up in the corner of it here. So I'm just going to make it just a touch darker in there, and the same here. Just to help some pop parts of it pop a wee bit later on. Now that's a vibrant sky, you have to admit, eh? Now I'm going to start a plan. A little, uh, some of the the back, the hedgerow at the back here. <coughs> so let me get myself some, oops, some some transparent oxide, a red, a little bit of raw umber, and a little bit of cadmium. There, now probably a bit more raw umber, and a little bit more oxide I think that that's I think it's okay I think it's okay so uh, I'm putting this directly on top of wet paint here so it's going to mix well it's going to mix fast and it's going to mix well a little bit brighter up in the tip of it here Okay, let me see. A little bit more orange along here for this one. A very orangey sky. Keep my brush a little bit here so I can lay this down a bit better and make it a bit brighter. All right, okay. And I, I will be, of course, smoothing all this in. I'm actually going to do a little bit of it now with the fawn brush. <coughs> barely touching this, folks. If you could see what I'm doing here, the canvas is barely moving. Trying not to overdo it. Just taking those edges back. That's way off in the distance. I maybe make it a wee bit darker whenever I get the chance. Now, what I will make darker is I will bring the base of this tree down a little bit further. Nice and red, nice and warm. Just down in here. Now, 
All right, see him again. Let's add a good lot of warmth to this. A little bit of liquid, and let's just darken the base of this now. Okay, now I will be coming up into the, the wet areas here in a moment and uh, I don't know whether to show you a couple of ways to do it or not. Um, you can do it with kitchen towel, you can do it with a... I'll do it with a brush, because everybody, well I suppose everybody has kitchen towel too. But, um, uh, right. But I'd rather do it the way that is more sustainable and that you learn more rather than just doing it, just to, just to do it. You can use the kitchen around what to do. So can anybody. Just do it with a, an ordinary, this is a soft, just a soft paintbrush. Nothing special about it. I'm going to be going into the wet here. Do the same on the other side, a little bit grayer. I'll put a wee bit of green on it as well. And just taking the edges right off this here and then um, probably a bit darker. Spread that edge right out into the existing surroundings of the tree. Now, well, there is a, I think, yeah. mm, let me see, let me see, I'm just, I'm thinking what to do here for the, the moment. A little bit of a darker. A bit of a darker, I think, uh, paint to put on here. Let me see him up in here. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sm gently smooth a little bit of this out. I'll do it with the things all. I'll do it with kitchen roll. I'll have it in my hand. So I suppose you can watch me do it other ways at another time. Right, okay, so kitchen roll. I'll get some darks here. That's already going to mix with what's up here. So I'm going to see what color this is. Alright, okay. Now you just get yourself a bit of kitchen roll and you scrumple it up. Right, scrumple it up. Create, create a scrumpy edge here. And obviously I'm going to be dabbing it in here. Just pick it up from the, from the palette and that's just dab it in. And that should help create lots of scraggly edges actually. for a lighter one in the round here. Now, I'm, I'm re-scrumpling it up to get a cleaner, a cleaner part of it and then I'm just going to gently work this in. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Where are you? Where did you come over? <laughs> right, anyway, so. Now what I'm going to do is just gently soften that. And do I have a very soft brush? 
and I think I'll just wipe that off a little bit and come in this way. There we go. So far, so good, folks. Now, I want to get myself a bit of a, um, uh, a bit of a tree going on here. And I'm looking for a small rounded brush. A small rounded brush that is relatively new and I think they'll find one. It's just to create this tree here. So, raw umber, lots of oxide red. This is a nice red, little bit of liquid, tiniest bit of black, and more oxide red. Right. Let's just create a nice thick branch here. Let's just take it all the way up. Sharpen the blade a little bit just by running it across the, the pod. And a gentle. There we go. Just be gentle. You know? I'm going to oh, I'm going to change the brush to do smaller ones. I think I'll use wherever it is. <coughs> My other very small round brush. I always promise myself I'm going to get more organized, more organized, and I never do. Right, so that's not it. Ah, you got it. Right, there we go. I'd like, I mean, that you have to admit that wee brush trick, uh, that wee uh, kitchen roll trick, it's, it's very effective, isn't it? Okay, some oxide red here. And actually, I'm, gonna just, I'm, I'm going to just make this one almost oxide red. I, I picked up some raw umber there by accident, so. Nah, that's why I'm creating a new batch over here. I just want a few little leaves here, a few little branches here and there. Okay, just making this nice and rough, folks. as in I'm doing it all in the one go. I do want to wait until it's dry so I can put in a, a proper bright part of the scan. I'll just scumble it in a little bit. So I shall. That's, at least that's my goal. At least that's my goal. Now I'm just going to have a wee look. <coughs> this other little tree to the side here. Right. Ready dark over here as well. And trying not to have too much of it on the brush. It's too so easy to do, you know. Oh, it's fine. 
I'm, I'm actually going to take a good bit off this brush here and just use what's on it to, to do what it was going to do over here. So uh, that's actually not bad. I've done the uh, kitchen roll over here. I'm going to do this one over here. So there. You get the best of both worlds here. creates a little tree off there and, and uh, slightly in the background and then to help it along I will put another little tree beside it Now I'm going to work on the water and before I um, um, try and work on the, uh, the landscape on the grasses. So let's get ourselves a nice orangey orange here. Nice orangey orange. Alright, nice orangey orange. So. Again, it's trying to stay away from uh, what's down. I don't want it to infect the, uh, the brush too much. Oops, but too much red on that. creating a little bit of a space there folks for the tree reflection that are the edges of the tree reflection and a little bit of white in here or yellow in here and then <coughs> we put in a little bit uh, I'll use a different brush I want to keep this one clean the same way Okay, so we're back into this greyish, greenish, um, uh, more green this time because we're in the we're in the water, and uh, don't want it to be too green though either. Tiny bit of orange or red, sorry, just to, to bring it back from, from being too green. And a red will do that. Okay, a little bit brighter. So if you don't have um, uh, access to Mid Journey, I, I would suggest if you can't get it. And then um, just sit and type in all the best um, uh, prompts that you can to create some wonderful landscapes for yourself and then, and then um, get an amalgamation of them all <coughs> excuse me and uh, then go on to Photoshop mess around with it and create a nice landscape for yourself I honestly think I, I've never seen anything quite like it it's quite wonderful I want this a bit more green. Too much talking, not enough greening. Okay. This is that this tree reflection here I'm, I'm putting in. Alright, now. Is this, uh, 
a clean brush here. wipe it off completely. There's a big blob of red right in the middle of it. <coughs> okay, that's a bit better. Yes, that's a bit better indeed. Must have accidentally picked it up somewhere. Well, if it was anywhere, it was there, I suppose. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I'm sure you know what I mean. Right, so let's get ourselves a nice blobby yellow, a little bit of white, just right in the center there. All right, okay now. Now, let's continue, um, but I'll use a different brush this time. Let's continue with the, uh, the tree reflection here. So let's get ourselves a, a, a nice ready, ready ref, orangey reflection here. A little bit of green, none of that. It's a bit too red for where it is. Now, I want some real darks over here. Some darks, I'm making it good and warm though. Some real darks in here. Yep, that's good. And I can use that to my advantage. This here, I'll be able to come into it with uh, the grasses. Okay, now I'm just being being a bit more cautious now as I'm coming along the edges here. Soften not up a touch, eh? Let me see, where is this here? I'm just going to gently mess up with this for now. It's just going to work the edges of this off. Now I think it's time to change my brushes because these are getting very hard. on this water now with this fawn brush. For now, but now when I'll just work on this, these grasses here, get a bit of uh, light in the in behind the tree of the uh, the grasses in behind the tree. I want to get one nice orange in there, nice bright orange, because that's after all where, where the sun is beating down, where the sky is has beaten down. So right across here, just at the base of this. 
and then I'll be able to scumble on a really bright one tomorrow whenever this is dried. I could do, if I, if I so wise I could get a, a cloth and wipe it out and then put this down. But for my purposes now as, a, as what I'm doing, I like to come back later and work on it. I don't know why, I never used to, I never, I was very much in a rush. Always very much in a rush. <coughs> and now I really like the idea of coming back and getting tore into it. It's funny that I really did change my mind on that one. Oh yes, the creates a bit of a bit of a, a shade in area part of here. Just a, a darker area along there for now. Now I'm going to put on the grasses, okay, so a green, a brighter green than what I have done. Let me see, just a little bit of, of the brown, sorry, the red that's on the table, a little bit of liquid, and then I'm just going to dab this in. This, these are not particularly long grasses. But I think that is a bit, I don't think it's uh, green enough. Uh, and what I mean by that, I don't think it's saturated enough. So let's saturate it a little bit more. Yeah, that's a bit better. Nice and dimply like this. This leaves a lot of texture behind. If you're up close, you'll see it. And leave some of the background uh, showing through as well. It'll uh, sell the idea that there's gaps in the grasses. You know, like the natural gaps that you get. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't get a, a strike for that. Okay, so. <coughs> Excuse me today, folks, a little bit uh, chesty. Let's uh, come over to here. And I'll work on the lighter area in a minute. I'm just going to work on the dark area here for now while it's on my brush. Now the lighter area. orange here just to bring this up a bit lighten it a touch and it's just the, the, the natural gradient from this later area moving forward that's all that's happening here right, but what I want to do is create, let me just, I forgot about this little area up in here. Okay. I wanna create some darker areas in the, in the, the landscape here. and divots and stuff. Little broken areas too. And I 
not sure I want that much of a of a bend in it. Little bit, little bit of a bend is actually preferable, but I don't really want it to be a big hook in it type of thing. here bringing this one back a, a bit as well and I'm going to use a different brush let me see what one should I use what one should I use? yeah I'll use the straight edge one it'll help create some straighter edges for me now this is it's nearly done folks I mean whenever the time comes I'll put some uh, holes in the tree and I'll, I'll fix up the back the back hedges and stuff here but it's it's nearly done out just a bit more okay now it creates that nice straight edge but it's very it's nice and jaggedy so I definitely want the whole thing brighter. That's good for now, actually. Yep. And I'm not happy with this area here too much at all. But I will fix it. Okay, just here. Take this off a little bit. Working it in. Yeah, it will be okay for now. Now, the only thing that's left for me is to put holes, is to put, finish up the sky a little bit. Put holes in here, finish up the water. And, uh, and no, I actually supposed to do the whole thing, but you know what I mean. It's not that much left, so there isn't. It's just small details. Anyway, for the time being, that's a little uh, little quick landscape for now. And I don't know how long, maybe 20 minutes I'll finish it, maybe another half of an hour. Right, well, I'll see you in a moment or two, I suppose. All the best for now. Okay, folks. I'll work on this one here and maybe uh, finish it off. There isn't too much to do on it, but another another little bit now i can already see that i have slightly misaligned this reflection here but easy enough fix folks easy enough all right let's get to it then so a bit of scumbling and whatnot today right going to work up in the sky here to begin with just get get this all, all but finished and get the wee hedgerows in the back finished. Oh, I had better change my glasses, hot and tie. All right, folks, now let's see. All right. I just wanna create a nice white, very bright area here. So some liquid, not much, some liquid. And because I've already got some down, I'm going to make it a, a, a bit of a thinnish mix so that this shows through to some degree. And I, as always, I put it on and I'll wipe it off. All I'm trying to do here is just, actually, I'll make it even a bit thinner. I'll make this a full glaze. 
just for the edges of this area here. Nice and bright. Now I'll come up to the, I'll, I'll put the tiniest bit of uh, cerulean on this, just up in the top here, just the tiniest bit. There we go. There we go, folks. There we go. Only just started. We're already getting there. You can see the difference that this is making. Just don't want to ruin too much of the work that was done yesterday, but don't be afraid to, to go over it here and there. All right, a thinner mix is coming down in here. That'll help, uh, help knock the yellow back a touch. Just brighten that whole area up. Okay, dry brush. This is a dry brush. I'm just working this in. Oop, just lift that off, whatever that is. There we go. I see him in here. Just take that away. Okay. Now we have, I don't know if you can see it, a straight line right down there. Obviously that won't do. Yeah, you just get a wee beat up brush here. And a nice warm, dark gaze on here. Black oxide red and a little bit of, of raw umber. I guess work this end around here, creating some darker, oh, a bit more red than this, I think. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with that. Um, this up here looks a tiny bit dirty, so I'm going to just going to work with that for now. A little bit of blue. Just work this in here. Oh, perhaps maybe a bit too much blue, me thinks. cleaned it up rightly. So let's continue on here now with this. This area down in here. Let's create a nice grayish blue for uh, certain parts of this. A little bit of oxy or a little bit of cadmium red. A little bit more uh, cerulean here, we got a bit more blue, a bit more purpley. Okay, let's see where this takes us. All I'm doing is putting it in here. That's too dark just as all. Well. Let's break not up a touch. To reshape the base of this tree I'm not too happy with it so I'm gonna that rather than um, uh, glaze it in I'm going to be painting this one and to remove oops needs to be a bit brighter just to remove the base of this tree here somewhat just thin it out a bit now a bit more orangey 
This is a moving towards the lights here. A bit brighter, a bit orangier. happy with <laughs> trying to keep that shape that shape that I just done there and a bit of a shadow here and I just work this into the Gently now. So you're creating a bit of a gradient there. Okay, right. No. No, 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 no. Do I continue on with this side? I think. Hmm, I'll brighten it a little. I'll, from this here, I'll brighten it a touch. I'll go into it here a little bit. Not too much, though. Hmm, as I say, not too much. Just Look a little bit in the distance. Now. <coughs> Let's create something here along yours, my flutter brush. So I'm gonna go for quite a bright orange here. Bit more yellow, actually, more yellow than orange. Just in behind the tree here, just. the light is, is hitting it the most here. I'm just trying to be cognizant of that. Right about here. Most of this here is going to get worked in. Most of these, this area here, going to get worked into the, the green fields beneath it. And let me just see here. Okay, right. get my finger. off wipe it off and then start working it in to what's down that gives it a nice soft edge but also you can see now where the light is hitting it here so what all I want to do now is create a little bit of a brighter area just here directly under the Sun now what did I do with that? There we go. Slightly brighter, more yellow. And 
just a little tiny bit of it. And again, working that in. Okay, so just gently this time. Don't want to completely work that in. There we go. Right, no, 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 no. Let's differentiate. Now, that's allowing us to see that there is a hedge row at the back here and that this tree is coming to the fore here, coming to the front. So I'm going to work on putting a little bit of light in, in this tree. So I need a little brush. I need a little brush and I found one. <coughs> so, oranges. darker than that. And of course, I'll be softening this up in a mo or two. But now, moving into the brighter areas here. Brighter still in some areas. Says a few things here. Emphasize this gap that's already here. Just bringing it out a little bit more. Now, I just need softened a little bit. Soften to the to the point where it doesn't look sharp and it has these edges and it's kind of almost dried up on me already to show you how quick that can tack up now a wee trick as well is to come in and I put a, a bit of an epicenter in this uh, in the, in this here because uh, as if it has a bit of a glow Just in a few of them, you don't need to do it in all of them. I think it makes it more uh, natural looking. And again, wipe it out a little bit. There we go. Nice and soft, nice and gentle. Right, okay, now. I want the, the work done in here. I'm just going to have a wee step back and have a little look, a little look, see and see where I is with things. Um, okay, let's work on this. Yeah, let's work on this area here. Now, I'll give myself a brush to do such a thing. So let's get this more greened up in this area over here. It's going to be a real green orange. A greeny, yellowy orange ish. Now I'll put a, I'll put a 
coating of this down it's already thin enough that it will show some of that through so a good bit of liquid and just kind of glaze and scumble this on a touch but I think this is darker than what's down it is a little bit brighter then just coat this up a little bit a bit better and that's just um, uh, just bringing this they're going to bring this over a little bit here Just with a darker, right beneath it this time, and not too far over. And that kind of is all that I really want to do with it. You know that it's there. You know that that's what it is. Maybe darken it a little bit. It is at the top of it. Just in here, and then drag that down. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit too obvious, so I'll just knock it back a touch. that now indeed happier with that now so then what's next I want to work on this here reflection a little bit more let's bring in another greenish <coughs> yes I can take a, have a cough here folks let me just see what this is like here to be too um I'll get another brush here. I don't want that to be too dark too dark and reflecty here so not at this stage. Let me see here. Okay. This is a glaze, this is just an orange glaze I'm putting on this. And then uh, that okay you know what I'm going to leave that that's not bad at all and then I'm going to actually just glaze this area a much darker one and I did glaze it last night but because of the nature of oil paints they dry in a matte finish and it looks later than what it is but the moment you varnish this it'll bring it all back out again so just be aware of that whenever you're your painting is that it will look darker than what it will finish. Once you put down the uh, the varnish, all those dark colours will pop out again. So you kind of, uh, when, whenever you're doing all your painting, you kind of have to try and be aware of that and compensate for that. That one, like at all, will just come with a bit of experience. All right. Okay, now let's just 
bright in this area, right in the center here. And I will do it with this little boy. A bit of a, now, nah, because there's a bit of a dirty mark here, right in, in the center of it. I'm going to paint this in rather than glaze this in. Oh, I'll be just using a little bit of uh, liquid just for drying purposes. Now, because I've covered that area up, I'm just going to glaze in the rest of it. Just wiping a little bit off the brush there. Uh, this will help me with the edges too. Not bad. So I'm just going to hope this farm brush isn't dirty. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's all right now. That's what it is. So, same vein, just over here a little bit, but uh, quite a thin glaze. But orangey and quite thin. Just to brighten this as if the, the light is spreading out. And that is exactly the same tone that is down. Which is no use to me. That's near enough the same tone as well, but slightly brighter. But not noticeable on camera anyway. widening this out a touch. There we go. <coughs> I think I want to brighten this this area here too. Brighten the whole thing. the grey that's already down. That will naturally create a nice orangey area right here. There we go. Let me see. Let me see. it's left is to slightly brighten the grass and then put some little ripple or two in the uh, in the water okay let's do that then <coughs> now what brush to use I think I'll use just this wee soft one here brighten the grass in certain areas so we're going to be a nice brighty Dully green, if you can have such a thing, of course you can. Using the orange that's down here to knock the uh, the green back a bit. There's a glaze. So it's quite a thin glaze too. I want to put it on and wipe it off. I just want to see what this is going to act like now. I think it's going to be way too bright. Yeah, I think I'm right. Um, 
Let's just work this in and see. You know what? It's not that bad. It's a bit too bright though. Yes, no. I'm, I'm going to be only leaving it. I'm happy with it. So, yeah. Now it just shows you the power of working that in. How, how bright that is comparative to the one um, above it. And that's just working that in to the, and it's a glaze as well. And then you come along and you just, you think, oh, it's too bright. But then you spend a bit of time just working it in. And because it's a glaze, it'll really help the, uh, the, top, the, the underneath layer. Shine through it, and on and doing so, doing it this way, the textures that you leave behind is quite nice. Uh, it leaves a nice grassy texture. All I'm doing is put. If you notice that I'm not going across on this one, I'm pulling down, trying to stay away from the darker areas as I'm doing so. <coughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to level this one off a bit here. And where am I? Okay. So bringing this up to here. Just leveling this off. And I'll probably darken this shadow here a little bit. as for the other side a touch brighter but but just a touch you probably the camera probably won't pick it up the, the, it probably will pick up the tonal difference of course it will pick up the the brighter contrast not the tonal difference between here and there. Okay, no. And I think it has picked up the tonal difference. Yes, 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 yes. Now that looks, that's looking okay now. So it is. Just a few darker areas. Here and here, here and there. And a few, um, uh, grot here. I'll, I'll just re-emphasize some parts of it here. bring this out a touch let me see just here make it obvious that these are little bits of grass that are moving into the water you see them over here Jaggedy little edges. It reach like we fingers that reach into the uh, into the water. Now I'm just gonna just get some small grasses here, not much. Just there we go. <coughs> now I'm going to put down some ripples. A bit of a, a brighter one here and there. OK, 
Okay, nice and gently now. I don't, I'm just going to, this is a bit of a tester. of these this time but enough to convince you that there's a little bit of ripples here and there and I'll do this. Yeah, we fly. One or two more in the center, in here, and, and another little dot or two in here, and then, yeah, and a darker one's in the center here, slightly darker. do that folks I believe anyway I'm just having a one little glance at it and uh, yep I think that that's good for that's a lovely wee piece actually but now I know I said about um, uh, <coughs> this tape thing so I'm still going to tr continue trying it because I do like the looks of it I do like pulling it off and I'm going to, um, uh, what I've <laughs> decided to do is this tape, I'm rolling it on my, my clothes to try and remove a lot of the tackiness to see if it will help the, the warping situation, but we'll see. See, it's not very tacky, which is hopefully helps. So there we go, that's that one. And let me see, I'll work on this bottom one. I just pin this back down again because I do like the finished look of it. I think that's quite nice. Okay. All right. Now this top piece here. Get my big arm out of the way, and you get to see the. There we go. Ah, that's all right now, isn't it? And um, just yeah, it's a nice warm sunshine with a real silhouetted tree and a nice wee tree beside it. Yeah. Right, well, folks. I'll see you in the next one. If you could do do a wee favor, please. I'm trying to watch one or two of my videos and as I say if you're going out shopping or something just throw throw it on and let it play. All the best folks, thanks very much.